Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life Channel. This particular channeling is like a spontaneous channel. Reason being, I already did my channel for today. I kind of have a routine. And so I did my channel, I had my nice black shirt on and my necklace and all that. And I went to change into um, the, the tank top I was wearing today, which was this awesome fun leopard print. I love that, it's fun. Get me inspired to go exercise, right? I was gonna go on walk on the treadmill, so I went and put that back on. And I, I usually, because my hair kind of gets in my way, when I exercise, I just pop a little clip in. So I popped this little clip in, and as soon as I did that, put on the leopard print tank top, I start having this song in my head that I kinda know, but I don't really know, because it's before my time. I think it's before my time. Sure seems like it's before my time. Nancy Sinatra singing, these boots are made for walking, you know? And I'm like, okay. I'm thinking, I don't think she's dead. Why would I be channeling her? Because when songs pop into my head, I instantly think, this is like Bridget life. My first question is, is that person dead? Are they trying to talk to me? Are they, are they sending me a note saying, hey, I would like to speak with you? It's like their spiritual assistant saying, um, this is requesting your a presence to be channeled or whatever. And I'm like, what? So I thought, no, I don't think she's dead. And then I'm just kind of going about my business and I thought, well, maybe I should channel and see what comes up. And, and I thought, I had this question, I thought, is her dad Frank Sinatra? Now I'm gonna sound stupid, but that's just, this is authentic. I'm like, I don't know. I mean, maybe people have same last names all the time and I'm like, I could feel right away. Yes, I'm her dad. Uh -uh. Yes, I'm her dad. And I'm like, oh, because I did have a request by somebody recommended or suggested I should talk to Frank Sinatra, Frankie. I'm like, mm, I don't know. Do I really want to open up that whole thing, that whole part of the old Hollywood stuff? You know, I don't know. I'm like, yeah, maybe I will eventually, but all of a sudden, bam. So he got to me using his data. And it must be this, I don't know, this clip, this look, I have no idea, but boom, all of a sudden. So we are going to speak with Mr. Frank Sinatra. We're gonna give him the floor and let him come on in. And he's got this black tux and this white shirt and this bow tie. He's holding a microphone. This is how I'm most comfortable. He says, this is how I'm most comfortable. He's got some swagger to him and he kind of moves when he talks and he's flowing and he's, kind of a presence that I literally feel like all of a sudden we're in a place where we're in a small club, rounded half moon stage, black, black curtains, dark, and I'm sitting on the little first little table with a little candlelight that's glowing like an amber color, a little bit more yellow, not super amber brown, but like a yellowish color, just small. Tablecloth doesn't even look white, it almost looks like this, um, like a mauve, no, 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 light pink, pale, pale, pale pink almost, but it might be the reflection of the light of the candle, because the candle looks like a light yellow and then pale yellow and then a table, okay. And I can feel like messing with something. It might be like, it looks like a rolled cigarette, like a fancy rolled cigarette. I'm not a smoker, uh, so I, and I'm not like, whoa, around that a lot, so I really don't, it looks like a fancy rolled cigarette. It looks white. It's like a white thing, like fancy. And I'm playing with it with fingers. I can feel that. But he's like on the stage and he's kind of walking down toward me and he's just kind of holding it. He's gonna sit, I think, across from me. And the chairs are gold. They have a gold or brass back. I'm like, they don't look that comfortable, just, you know. Um, so you should see this place when the lights are on. I'm like, oh, okay. Cause it's like a, it's like a, almost like a jazz, uh, I wanna say jazz blues club, something. It is thick in here. The air is like heavy, humid like air. Are we in California, Hollywood? Yes. And, but it's exclusive kind of a thing. It's like a undercover, under, um, I want to say 420, 4204, or 4120. I don't know if that's the address or if that's the name of the club, 420 Club or 4120. That means something, 4120. Numbers are a little tricky for me to translate. As you guys know, he doesn't know that. 
you guys know it. Um, and then I see what looks like Vinewood, V-I-N, Vinewood, V-I-N-E-W-0-0-D, Vinewood? I don't know. Um, I appreciate it not feeling, not smelling smoky in here. Sometimes I can actually smell and it's like my eyes would start watering. It's just too much for me. I, I'm sensitive to the smoke and such. I don't mind the smell of it though. Kind of like it. He's like, do you prefer pipe? <laughs> like, I, don't, I know you like to, I know you're, he's smoking cigarettes and they're white. They're pure white. Like they don't have any like brown on, they're white. They're like they're white, like fancy. And then I look and I see one that's long and skinny, almost looks like it would be maybe a cigar, but it doesn't look, it's not big and fat cigar, it's long skinny and it's like the color of a cigar. So the cigar wrap is like a, almost like a grocery bag color, you know, that kind of brownish matte, deep khaki color kind of thing. That's what it looks like. And it's, it's long. It's like, it's really long. It's like this long. Is that how long cigarettes are? You guys, I'm so bad. It's long. It looks like a taller cigarette, taller than, and he's just... But he's, it's so casual, but he's got like the mic in one hand and the cigarette in the other hand. And he just, it's like, nah, no big deal, you know? And I do know, I know from history, I do know that you died of, I think it's lung cancer or throat cancer, some kind of cancer, probably from the smokes. <laughs> he's like, he's like, it's not healthy. It's a, he's like, it's a, it's a, it's a disgusting habit. I don't recommend it. <laughs> like, okay, thanks. It's not worth it. He says, <laughs> he's like smoking. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Um, but he's talking about the grandkids. At least I got to see my grandkids kind of thing. I got to see my grandchildren. I'm lucky I lived that long, he says. I'm lucky there wasn't a hit out on me. Really? Like, so is that mob stuff true? Because I know, I've heard like before about something about mob stuff. I'm sure I've heard it. I think I have anyway, unless I'm just making that up. Um, it's like there could be a hit on me. He goes, He's like, like Bugsy. I'm like, what, Bugsy? Is that even real? Do people even call people Bugsy? He's like, they did, they sure did. He sits back and he says, they sure did. I'm like, I hear a Bugsy, somebody named Bugsy. But he's like high up in something, like high up in the organization. But he doesn't look like he's, I'm gonna say the word mob. He doesn't look like he's, uh, I don't know why I was like, all, whoosh, I don't wanna hurt, bust anybody. <laughs> in the afterlife. And I don't want to talk to all those <laughs> dead mobsters. No, thank you. Um, <laughs> no, thank you. This is a family program. No. Um, but Bugsy, and he's saying he's high up in the organization. Like, I think in Hollywood, he's high up. So either he's funding movies or film, or he is movies and film. His name's Bugsy. Bugsy. Like, and he likes, he appreciates that. He doesn't look super attractive. Let me just be clear. The Bugsy guy, not very good looking. He looks like he's got some, like something on his face on the side, almost like pock marks maybe, or like burn marks. He just doesn't look really um, like a movie star guy. Mm -mm. There's something here on his face, it looks like. I don't know if it was like, <laughs> Frank says, road rash. I'm like, what? Did he maybe he got in an accident and he died that way? I don't know. Let's not talk to, about this Bugsy guy. I don't know. But he was high up in Hollywood and he was funding stuff. He was either the man that financed movies or film or productions. And he says, so you could go on, you know, you could do these big productions. And he's showing me like movies where like ladies are swimming and stuff. I have no idea. Like uh, synchronized swimming people. It's like the late 30s, 30s and 40s, early 40s. He's like 42. 38, 42, 36, 38, 42. I'm like, that kind of sounds like measurements. He let, he lays his back and he's like, he's very classy. Frank is very classy, especially when it comes to the ladies. He's like, he would, he's not like, I'm going to speak derogatory about them. I'm not going to treat them like, you know, objects or that kind of thing. But he says, I've been known to have some beautiful ladies around me. And I can see that. And he says something, Zsa, Zsa like Zsa, Zsa Gabor. I don't know if she hung out with him. I have no idea, but I, he's like, Zsa, Zsa. Zsa, I can see her by his side, like Zsa, Zsa you know? Mm. Zsa, Zsa, come on. Beautiful, beautiful lady. He says there's so many beautiful women in Hollywood, isn't there? Just so many beautiful women. Um, yeah. So he's saying some names of people, Hollywood people, that would maybe be around or watch shows. 
come to see the shows or the such that he knows. Um, he's also showing me Las Vegas. Like he must have done a stint in Las Vegas or been in Las Vegas because I see Las Vegas too. But he's bringing me back to the Hollywood, the old Hollywood, which is cool. I love that vibe. That's my vibe, man. That's my jam. Well, not really. I don't know that much about it, but it feels good. It's interesting. But he's naming these actors and stuff, and I don't know who they all are, you guys, so please forgive me. Like Clark um, Gable, Clark Gable. Um, Bertinelli, 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 I don't know who that is. Um, Bert Lancaster, I don't think that would even be in that time. Burton Lancaster? I don't know. Guys, I could be way off on that. I don't know. Um, but keep going. Go ahead. Clark. I can see Clark for sure. I, it's got to be Clark Gable because Clark and then I see the G-A and the L-E, but I don't necessarily see the B. There's a European something. European. Like I see like France or something. That's random. Hmm. You guys are going to have to help me fill in these blanks because I don't know. Who's this Burton Nelly guy in Burton Lancaster? What the heck? Isn't he like a recent actor? I don't know. I have no idea how that would fit in. And then, uh, unless I'm mispronouncing the name, I could be missing the Bert part is with something else. It's either a last name or a guy named Bert, and then there's more to the names or more people he's naming off that I don't recognize. That could very well be. Um, there's a European connection or somebody from France. It feels like an actress from France. Actress, a lady, a woman from France. I can see that, that he hung out with that was around. I also see like, a, um, there's so many famous people. I can see lots of actresses. Um, I think he preferred the blondes though. Mm -hmm. He says, present company included. And then he smokes a cigarette and then he kind of puts it down. I'm like, he is charming, but in a classy way, you know? Very, I can feel the energy vibe. He, you're not quite as tall as I thought you'd be. I thought you'd be a lot taller. He's like, what, six feet? I'm like, yeah, like more than six feet. I can't, it's hard for me to tell because I'm sitting and he's up, right? It's like he's above me a little bit. So I wish I could get your height. 5'11", 6. 5'11", 6. I don't think he's over 6 feet. Um, good looking. <laughs> good looking. His features are gorgeous. Very nice features. Very nice. I can't think of what he looks like in my regular brain, but in the psychic vision and clairvoyance, the psychic channel of sight, very good looking, handsome man. He looks like he was married more than once, maybe three times. Um, looks like he has at least two kids. I know he has Nancy, Nancy Sinatra, his daughter. And he's got grandkids, it looks like. At least two, three, looks like at least three. There's two from one and one from another, it looks like. Um, he's saying something about my son-in-law. He might, actually one of the, my son-in-law, is he in heaven? One of the daughters may have had an ex that Frank would know of that's in heaven, maybe, potentially. I'm not clear on that. That's a little murky, and I think it's connected to Nancy. And that's a little murky, like her life and her husbands and relationships and things. That's a little murky for me. And it's probably because she's still alive, and I don't want to be all like up in her business. But he's connecting because of her. She's got a birthday coming up, I think. There's got to be, a, there's some kind of an event that's coming up, either her birthday or a child's birthday that's connected to her. Um, I also see June. Um, and it feels like the month of June, J-U-N-E, or J-U-N, Jun, like June. Um, June 17th, 1968. 88. I can't tell. I can't see you. You got to show it to me closer. 1968. End of 67. Change year. I don't know if this is for related to um, Nancy or if it's related to you. Change year. 
I feel like he did. I feel like he was in residency at some point in Las Vegas. I feel him like being in Las Vegas. Is that where the mob stuff came in? He's not really talking about it a lot. He's not really mentioning it. He's just kind of, I mean, it's pretty clear, I think, that there was some other stuff going on and he doesn't want to be involved in, he doesn't want to be connected to his legacy or legend energy, he doesn't want to be connected to that shady stuff. Um, but I see lots of gambling, lots of gambling, and some, maybe some illegal stuff, but not him directly. He is not directly connected to it, but he may be aware and just, you know, because I feel like he was really accepted, like in um, different circles, let's say, really ex widely accepted in different circles. He says, I wasn't a, necessarily a good guy. You know, he's like, I wasn't a good guy all the time. I didn't always play the good guy all the time. Okay. You know, I made some bad choices, he says. He was not super faithful, I'm gonna say that. He was not real faithful. As you could imagine, I mean, he's gorgeous, let me just say. Oh my gosh, very good looking. Oh, I don't think you're, you're not really my type. No offense to that, but he's like none taken. There are plenty of other fish in the sea. I'm like, yes, there are. And I can't even really hear your voice. It's uh, When you're talking to me, it sounds a little like velvety, raspy, but I can't even think. My brain can't even recall the way your voice sounds. Yeah, I'd love it if you'd sing a little for us. Can you do that? He says, sure. Danny boy. He said Danny boy, but he's not singing it. Um, and they hear sunny, something sunny. Trying to get a song here, I can't. I can't really hear him. I can't hear him at all. It's like he has no voice. It's like he's really hoarse or something. Like he may be singing in the afterlife, but the closest, the closer I feel, the way I feel him close, it, I can't feel the singing. I can't hear the singing, but I can feel the like almost talking and kind of, uh, you know, trying to sing a little bit. And then he's like, the boy's in the band, and now he's like snapping his fingers and listening to the band kind of thing. And he's something, Mac the Knight? Mac the Knife? Is that something you're saying? I don't even know, but it's like something. And it's Mac the ni Knife Knight? I can't tell, you guys. You guys are going to be screaming at the video. Sorry. If you know some Frankie Sinatra songs, put them in the comments below so I can look them up and listen. <laughs> All right. Is there anything else? Ooh, I have a great question. Everybody's gonna wanna know this. Well, not everybody, but yeah, we're all gonna wanna know this. What do you think about like Michael Bublé? Cause he kind of is compared to you sometimes, you know, he's got that style. He says, oh, fine young man, fine young man. Great voice on that, great set of pipes. He says, great set of pipes on that young man. Great set of pipes. It's weird because his mouth kind of turns up sometimes when he's talking to me. I don't know what that's about. I don't know which slide it would be for you guys. It kind of turns up a little bit. And kind of does this little thing. No, it's not really an upper eyebrow. It's kind of like a, oh my gosh, this is so goopy. <laughs> so Michael Bublé is okay with you. It's cool with you that he remakes your stuff. And as long as he's good, and he's good. He said he's good. As long as it's done well, that's... That's all I asked for. <laughs> okay, great, great. All right, this is Bridget with Above Life Channel. This has been a very interesting and to remember spontaneous conversation with Mr. Frank Sinatra, Frankie baby in the afterlife. And if there are specific questions or things or comments that you have about Frank Sinatra, you can help me fill in the blanks with some of the random things that kind of came in during the middle of this session, please, please post. <laughs> if you liked this, if you found it enjoyable, go ahead and give it a like and make sure you subscribe so you never miss a channel. Remember here at Above Life Channel, the purpose is to inspire your spirit. Remember, it's your life. So live it. Thanks for being here.